Hey guys, how's it going? It's Apeat Eric, and today we are going to take a look at the Glenn's Retro Spinner, which is specifically made to fix one glaring problem with the Asteroids Arcade 1UP cabinet. You see, it's a fine looking cabinet. It has a great marquee, great selection of games, you know, Asteroids, Tempest, Major Havoc, Lunar Lander, some real classics, if you will. However, major problem. Major, major problem. It's not that it's so low that I have to be on my knees, but it's this stupid spinner. This spinner is like a bottle cap. Like if you go to the store and you buy like a jug of fucking milk or something, it's it's like the plastic. It's not even a real spinner. It's more like a, a switch. It has a lot of problems, and this actually has come under fire a lot. A lot of people have said that's the main thing that holds it back. Thus... The need to get the glance retro spinner i'll put a link in the description if you guys want to try grab one hurry quick it sells out a lot i had to wait for this to be back in stock for like two months so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the contents and we're going to install it live on camera but let me show you why the the glance retro spin spinner is needed so badly so let me show you some some tempest which is the game that it's mostly needed for on this all right, so here is the classic Tempest, and we're going to play. So you look at here. You can't even, you're spinning it, but it stops. It doesn't spin freely. It's not weighted. It's just an issue. It doesn't, it doesn't work right. You're looking at my hand. You look at my hand. I'm literally, I'm literally spinning it. Look, it doesn't even react. Look at that, and it's just so clunky to actually use and move around on what is a great game. Tempest is a fantastic, phenomenal game, but it just does not work right with, with the spinner that is packaged with it. And I get it. They made it like this so it could cut costs, so it could be cheap. And you look at it. I mean, it does its job if you, if you slowly inch it, but it shouldn't be like this. It's not arcade accurate. So there are a couple of options out there to actually fix this issue. And again, the preferred one by a lot of people, I'm in an RK one up group on Facebook, is this one. So we're gonna go ahead, unbox it, and install it. So let's go ahead and look at the contents inside. So here we go, adjustable arcade spinner. That's the instructions, and when you open it, it looks like this. So you get, essentially, the actual weighted dial, and it's metal, look at this. This ain't, no crappy plastic crap. I'm gonna, when I disassemble this, I'm gonna show you. This is actually a weighted metal piece. Look at that. Weighted metal, perfect. And then we got our wires right here. And I heard from somewhere that this is actually rather quick to install and easy. So don't worry, I'm not a tech whiz either. But look at this, this is actual full heavy metal. And look, that's an actual spinner right here, a spinning dial. That's weighted. We got some some chips and stuff right there. So let's go ahead. We're gonna open this sucker and install it. So step number one is to unscrew your actual control panel off your cabinet. All right. So we have it, and then of course undo the ribbon that connects the arcade one up, and you should have your whole control deck. Control deck looks like this. We're going to unscrew all the screws so there's six six of them all right so you're going to unscrew your control deck and let's go to an actual area that gives me a lot more room to work with than what i am in right now all right so i got it on a stool and we're going to unscrew everything all you need to do this is just a screwdriver Little tedious, I know, but this is what the arcade one up life is. Hashtag arcade one up life. I hear my buttons clicking. <laughs> All right, so we got it loosened up. So you open it and you see everything. Is that glue? Weird. Like there was some glue or something <laughs> all right so 
This right here is the spinner. As you can see, it's all plastic compared to this one, which is all metal, which is the one we're going to put here. So we got all plastic and to undo it again, all you need to do is take off this shield. The spinner that's here already is all plastic. This is all freaking plastic. And what we're gonna do is we're going to unscrew the shield that's on there. God damn, these screws suck. There we go. Now keep in mind, they made these all cheap. The stock, everything for them are very cheap. Because what can you expect for, for a $300 arcade system? <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you expect? So, that's one part of it loosened up. And it was actually glued on too. You could see the glue. They did not want you taking this sucker off. I mean, taking a look right here, you could see they even have this tied together by twist tie. So we're gonna undo that too. All right, so we're gonna undo the plug. And we're taking this sucker off. We do not need this trash anymore. Then the next step, we take out this other piece of trash which is the spinner itself. Look, this is the crappy spinner. And keep in mind, I'm not the most engineer type of person, but even I could figure out that this is crap. Look at this plastic dial. And then here's our milk cap. Literally looks like something that you use to cover a bottle of something. All right, so we're going to fix this right here. This is where it goes. Boom, right there. Thank God they give you all the tools because I was not about to hunt a freaking Allen wrench down. Here we go. Screwing the first one down. Get that thing in there nice and tight. And the other thing that's good about this is that it's fucking elevated. The other one, the previous one, would rub against your thing and could actually damage your console. Like if you look at all the in-store demos of Asteroids, they were all worn out because people did not know how to freaking use them all right so there we go it's set in there and it's looking good it's looking mighty mighty fine all right so now we're going to install this so we're going to flip the sucker over we're going to place spinner like so above it oh my gosh look at that all right look at that it's gonna spin freely not like the other one that didn't do that so we're gonna use the hex socket we're gonna righty tidy look at that that sucker ain't coming off at all that is good shit look at that easy I'm stupid and I did it all right, now that we have everything screwed back on, we're going to put this back on itself. And I'm not gonna screw these yet. I'm gonna test the damn thing first. Forgot to hook the ribbon. Da -da -da. Make sure you put that ribbon back on nice and tight way I like my women all right so now we're gonna see if I have fixed the stupid dial so let's check it out please oh please oh please work it's all I hope I did it right if I did this right then it's proof that anybody can install this easily so let's see if it works on the actual yep there we go and look at that that is spinning free look at look at that so let's try Tempest Let's select it, and Jesus, that is a night and day difference. Look at that. Oh, I gotta start the game first. All right, here we go. Look at that. That is a night and day difference on the actual thing. Remember, it wouldn't even spin. Look at that. 
Now it's spinning freely with just one dial. So now it's it's time to play Tempest the right way. Let's look at this. There we are. Look at that. And all it took was just unscrewing the old one and screwing the new one in its place. Holy smokes. Night and day difference here, guys. Definitely top notch. If you need a spinner replacement, I recommend you get the Greg's Retro Spinner. So I'm gonna put a link down below, guys, for you to check it out if you wanna get one. Definitely easy to install, easy to set up. A breeze, perfect for your Asteroids cabinet or your Deluxe six in one or your 12 in one. But thanks a lot guys for watching as always. Stay tuned for more RK one up action. I will be appearing at Game On Expo August 9th to the 11th. Looking forward to it. This is my fourth Game On Expo. Holy cow. Already been there several times. Each time I go more and more, I enjoy it. It becomes much more epic. I mean, this year alone, we're gonna have Charles Marnay, who voices Mario. We're gonna have the voice actor for Bowser, the voice actor for Peach. We're gonna have the voice actor for Ash Ketchum and the voice actor for Bulbasaur and other Pokemon. So there's a lot of voice actors. It's not just a YouTube convention, but some of your favorite YouTubers, including myself and Shady J from the Shady J Show will be in attendance, but also John Hancock, Boogie2988, Kinsey, Metal Jesus Rocks, John Riggs, and plenty more that have yet to be announced will be at this convention. It's an awesome three-day convention. There's so much to do here. They have lots of tournaments, lots of panels, lots of after-party activities, things like this. You know, the desert's already hot, but when Game On Expo comes to Phoenix, it is super hot. So this is at the Phoenix Convention Center, right in the heart of downtown. There's a lot of different bars, pubs, restaurants, and everything to do. I always have a great time. And again, I will be out there with some merch and, you know, taking pictures, kissing babies, things like that. So yeah, first Game On Expo. And then we have Southeast Game Exchange coming up. So that's my two August conventions, which I'm definitely looking forward to being a part of. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.